Hello, hello. Welcome to my channel, Luminous Ascension Tarot. So I'm going to be tapping in for my water signs today, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Let's see what we have going on for my babies, my water signs. Let's tap on into the energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. So if you have that predominantly in your chart, your sun, moon, Venus rising, north node, south node, or you're cross watching for a Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, let's tap on in the energy and let's see what we have going on. Welcome, welcome. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, I ask you to help me channel the energy needed to provide the best clarity for my water signs today. Protect me as I do this reading and get the downloads needed to provide everything that they need to know at this time. Please remove, block, and return to sender tenfold anything that's being sent to me or my water signs at this time during this read. Please remove, block and return to sender anything that is being sent to us that is not of the highest white light okay protect me as i am guided through this read cancer scorpio pisces what do we have let's go okay so it says not hearing your shit and it came in the reverse so maybe you want to hear from someone, maybe you're waiting for someone to reach out to you, or this is you planning on reaching out to someone to speak to them about something. Maybe you're trying to hook up with someone. Mm, some of y'all want to hook up, okay. Maybe this was a situationship, or somebody could be having a one night stand with someone. Someone could be calling you with information be careful if you have a one night stand please make sure you wrap it up be safe i don't know why that's important to say but i'm getting it um or somebody ready to put it down this could be you or somebody is coming towards you with this energy okay what else are my water signs so it says that toxic lover is raising your blood pressure. Someone here could be dealing with some type of blood pressure issues. Or if not, then this person just gets you hot. Like, this person either boils your blood. Like, somebody, oh, somebody knows how to get your blood flowing. Or somebody feels this way about you. Or somebody could be going to get a checkup. Somebody could be waiting to hear news from a doctor regarding something. This could, somebody here could need to go check their heart or just a checkup in general. Okay. What else? I'm toxic for you. So somebody toxic wants to reach out to you or maybe somebody's stuck in some type of toxic ways. What is I'm toxic for you? Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Medium extrasensory perception. Okay. Somebody could be sending a tax your way. Somebody could be spiritually attacking someone. If it's not of that, you could be very spiritually in tune with yourself. You could be a psychic. You could have gifts. You could be very tapped into your spiritual gifts. And you know that somebody's sending you energy. Somebody could be trying to do magic on someone here. Somebody could be trying to affect someone's health through magic. It could be death magic, it could be health magic, whatever. Any of these things somebody could be trying to do. Or somebody's trying to look into somebody's life to see if their magic is working, if it's affecting someone. Mm. This could also be someone mm, reaching out to a, a psychic, a medium. Or if you are a psychic or medium, you could be picking up something in a reading. That's going to get someone in their feelings. Maybe you're speaking out about something. Maybe you're saying something and someone's hearing you. Someone wants to reconcile a situation. 11-11, it's time for union. Someone wants to reconcile something. You could be saying 11-11. Someone's birthday could be on 11-11. I see your worth now. So someone sees your worth now, but you're too busy watering your plants. Some of you could actually 
be watering plants or working on a garden or I'm hearing something about landscaping. Or this is just you too busy in your own energy. Like you could have went through a transformation. Butterfly energy. You could have went through a, a complete transformation. And now someone wants to reunite with you. Now someone sees that you are a beautiful butterfly. That you are of the light. That you are worth loving. Or somebody also could be seeing that you're in a new union. And they feel some type of way. Or that you reconciled with someone else and now they see your worth. But you've already moved on from this person. This person is toxic. And this is why someone's in their feelings. Or this could be you. Flip and switch the roles, please, as needed. Someone here could do music. Or someone speaks up for work. Some of you could do ASMR. Or some somebody here could have a podcast. This could also be for some of you. Someone is listening to music that is reminding them of you. Or they're hearing something that's making them think of you. Okay. Anything else? Summertime. So you could have dealt with someone in the summertime. This could also be... You could have been dealing with a Gemini, a Cancer, or a Leo. Somebody's birthday could be in the summer. What do we have here? Balance is a key to a happier lifestyle. You could have changed something about your life to balance yourself out in the summertime. Or you could be meeting someone that is the yin to your yang. This could also be for some of you. A balancing between your divine masculine energy and your divine feminine energy. Let it go by Keisha Cole and Missy Elliott. So you let something go. Mm -hmm. For some of you, you could need to take a vacation. You need to balance your practicality with your spirituality, you could be working way too much and you need to take a break. You could need to go on a vacation or take some time for self-care, self-love and pampering yourself. That's very important as well to be able to keep a good balance. Maybe this is a recharging of energy. This is going to help you get back on that flow. Maybe you haven't been taking care of your health or you just been so tunnel vision on something that you need to take a break oh yeah i told you somebody could be doing magic on someone magic being done on you someone could be sending you lust cravings because they want to get back in your energy even though this person's toxic for you now they want to come express some type of feelings that they have for you or they want you to do so you could be seeing 8 11 yeah if you're randomly thinking about this person, it's because they're sending you that energy or somebody's paying someone to do magic on you to get you to come back and, and sleep with them because they're too nervous to, to have the balls or the tits, whatever, <laughs> to talk to you. Yeah, you were going in circles with this person. It was the same shit, different day. Same merry-go-round, same cycle, same shit. And it's just like, now they're thinking about you again, butterflies. It could be something very important about butterflies. I know for me, that's my spiritual animal. But there could be something about when someone sees butterflies, they automatically think of you. Or it's just because they see you going through a transformation. Yeah, I told you, some of you need to get some rest. That's an important message for someone here. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. You guys need to get some rest. Don't overwork yourself. Don't overwhelm yourself. Yeah, maybe you guys need a movie night, go to the movies or Netflix and chill or just go out somewhere and have a good time. Pamper yourself. Be careful of anybody playing games with you that's trying to love bomb you. Please be careful of this energy coming in. They could be sending you messages, DMs, mail, anything. But this person is very childish and all they want to do is play games in your in your energy. You already threw this shit away. Some of you could be doing some deep cleaning in your home. Throwing shit away. Don't hoard stuff. 
or this is you. You already took out this trash. You already released this shit. You already let this shit go because this person does nothing but play in your energy. They, they love bomb you. They tell you they're going to do one thing and then they do the opposite. So now you're independent. Now you're flowing in your own energy. Now you're growing and glowing and somebody feels some type of way. This also could be turning someone on even more. The fact that you're so independent, the fact that you're so good with or without someone, like you're always exhuming boss energy or you're always exhuming like a, a glowing aura. Like something about you is very predominantly strong. With or without people around you, you're fine. You're happy. You're content. You make the best of life. You make the best of any situation, whether you have a lover or not. And someone's in their feelings because of this. Somebody wants you to come back around. Come back to me. Baby, please. <laughs> All right. Let's see what we have going on. All right. What's not hearing your shit in the reverse? Somebody wants to reach out to you. Or you could be in contact with someone. Or like I said, someone's waiting for some type of communication regarding their health. Or this person is just toxic. And mm -hmm, they could be waiting for you to reach out. Because they did. Oh, somebody could have did come back to me spells. Or some type of obsession work. Or some type of ritual to get someone to reach out to them. This is why somebody could be waiting for this. Damn. Okay. So we have the three of cups, the sun, and the six of swords. So you have something that is worth celebrating. Something could have been happening in the summertime. So some of you could be dealing with a Leo or you have Leo in your chart. Someone here could be a Cancer Leo cusper. If not, someone's moving to Comer or they want to move to Comer Waters with you. This could be travel indications. This could be a relocation moving. This could be someone headed towards your way or you traveling to go to some type of gathering, some type of event. This could be a, a wedding, a baby shower, a gender reveal, a graduation, a birthday party. Holidays are right around the corner. So, if it's not that, this could be a celebration of a baby, a birth, or something that's going to make you very happy. Maybe it's going to make you happy when somebody comes towards you. This could also be a group of people doing something. Okay. What's the Three of Cups with the Sun and the Six of Swords? Can you clarify this for me? King of Wands. Aries Leo Sag energy. So somebody's taking action on something. Somebody want, uh, is becoming a leader. Somebody could be stepping into an entrepreneur position. Or they're taking the lead on something. They're taking action. Someone's taking action to come towards you because they see you as their true happiness or somebody's about to get enlightened about something. It could be this King of Wands or this could be you. Page of Swords. Yeah, somebody's watching someone. Page of Swords. Somebody's paying attention. Somebody's researching something. They're looking into something. High Priestess. Somebody could be doing this in secret or somebody could be paying. Like I said, someone could be paying a practitioner to do something. If it's not that, this could be you. You could be a practitioner or you could use your intuition for work. Someone here could be a spiritualist or they could be very tapped into their spiritual journey. And this is some type of creative investment, business project that somebody's uh, taking a leap of faith on. This could also be somebody, ooh, why am I getting that? Somebody could be trying to pay someone or invest in someone to keep quiet about something. What? You guys, what's the, what's this toxic love bird is raising your blood pressure? Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Ten of Cups and it came sideways. So somebody's struggling with a family dynamic. 
or if somebody's struggling to keep their home in check or their family together, somebody could be bored with a living situation or be bored with their lover. There could be a lot of arguing, which raises somebody's blood pressure, a lot of conflicts, a lot of disagreements. This could be someone that's staying in a situation solely for stability or kids. If not, someone, someone here, for some of you, could be struggling with the idea of seeing you invest in a, in a happy home or a happy commitment, relationship, marriage, partnership, whatever this could be. Someone is like steady watching this and they're struggling with this. Wheel of Fortune, because you have good luck coming in when it comes to your stability, your independence, your finances. Maybe you broke free from this situation or someone could be breaking free from this collaboration that they were in or partnership or marriage, whatever. Okay, what's the Ten of Cups that was in the struggle position? Let me put it in the struggle position so I can, okay. What's the Ten of Cups in the struggle position with raising your blood pressure, toxic lover? Yeah, someone feels like they invested wrong. Someone could be feeling like they made the wrong investment or the wrong decision when it came to investing in a family dynamic or staying in a family dynamic. Somebody could be looking into their funds or looking into their money. Somebody could be trying to save money to get out of a situation. Yeah, look, look. Okay, the death and the ten of swords. Oh, shit. So somebody could be finding out about a betrayal that's going to end a dynamic. If not, this could be after someone gets noticed some type of betrayal, whether it's regarding their investments, their money, or something with a partnership, a marriage, or a family foundation, you could be seeing 10-10. Something is going to be completely over. This could be a health condition that someone's going to have to deal with that they're not going to be able to get rid of that's going to cause something. Um, or like I was telling you, somebody could be trying to send someone deaf magic. So we have Scorpio energy here, uh, Gemini sun here, or this is just an ending of a, a family, a dynamic, a partnership, a marriage. Any of these things could be for a transformation. Someone has to go through this to be able to go through a transformation. The lovers, someone has a major decision that they have to make. It could be regarding two paths, two careers, two people and yeah someone needs to make a a solid commitment to something and set boundaries with something else strong gemini here gemini libra aquarius somebody could be taking a leap of faith towards a brand new beginning the fool or somebody could have been finding out that somebody is doing some foolish shit behind the scenes and they're going to come quickly towards you knight of swords What's this death with the Ten of Swords? Can you clarify the death with the Ten of Swords for me? Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Page of Pentacles. So as I was saying, some of you could be a practitioner. So someone here could be a, a tarot reader. If not, there could be something involving children here. This could be someone wanting to make a an offer. Or like I said, someone's paying someone. I'm getting it very strongly. I'm sorry to keep bringing it up this way. But somebody could be paying someone to end something for you. To end a foundation you built with someone. To end a partnership. To end a home. Somebody's stability. To end someone's finances. Their investments. Or to like end them. Period. Someone could be paying someone to do this. Or someone's getting this information through a reader, through a reading. Uh, or somebody could be trying to use a child to do something. Someone could be trying to pay a child. Regarding a betrayal. What the fuck is this? What's the page of pentacles with the death and the ten of swords? What is this? Somebody could be finding out they're pregnant. Um... Or somebody could be, oh gosh, I'm not going to, mm -hmm. 
ten of pentacles in the reverse. A lot of tens, you guys. What? With the knight of wands. So, somebody could be finding out that somebody abused a child. Or somebody could be going through something where they're trying to pay a child to keep quiet about something. If it's not that, this is someone that wanted to steal someone's inheritance. Their life. This could be like a destiny swapping. Somebody's trying to destiny swap. Somebody's trying to end someone's happiness, their life, their foundation, their stability. So they could come in and swap somebody's life. Or somebody's trying to steal someone's actual inheritance. Something could have been left to a child. It could have been money and somebody's trying to take it. This person could have been very flighty, very in and out. Or this could be somebody's baby daddy or baby mama. This person could have been just trying to get someone's investments or finances because they knew they were moving towards someone else. And they felt betrayed by the situation. So this person could be trying to come in and out or hot and cold or on and off situation. I don't know. This is weird. This I'm getting crazy. So okay, what's on toxic for you? What's on toxic for you with medium percent? Yeah, someone's releasing someone from the past. Six of Cups in the reverse. Or someone's refusing to want you to let them go. Judgment, six of pentacles. You could be seeing six six six. Someone needs to reflect on their behavior. Um, what's the six of cups in the reverse? Queen of Swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. So someone's setting boundaries with someone or someone's looking into something very hard. What's the queen of swords with the six of cups in the reverse? This could also be you're not thinking about this person no more. You're not worried about this person. You're not even like whatever they're sending. It's not working. Ace of Cups, because you're loving on yourself. Ace of Cups, you're loving on yourself or you're going towards new love. Be without you. Someone doesn't want to be without you. Yeah, Five of Wands, Knight of Cups, Eight of Swords. Somebody could want to fight someone. <laughs> what? Or there could be a lot of conflict going on. Or somebody spiritually attacking someone. What's the Queen of Swords with the Ace of Cups? What's the Queen of Swords with the Ace of Cups? I'm toxic for you. Medium perception. The High Priestess. So your intuition is telling you something. Or somebody secretly trying to come towards you to offer you love. Got Pisces energy here. If it's not that, there could be something about someone moving in silence to do something. Knight of Pentacles, Four of Wands, Ace of Wands, King of Cups. Wow. Someone sees you as their passionate new beginning. This could be your twin. If not, this is a celebration that's headed towards you slowly, but surely you have something that's coming towards you worth celebrating some of you could be a public speaker or something you do is going to be on a platform or somebody here could perform somebody could be looking into someone's talents their creativity this person this person has love for you but at the same time they're very aroused by you or they have a lot of lust for you passion for you this person wants to build stability with you. They want to build a foundation with you. There could also be something happening in a court dynamic. What's the high priestess? The king of swords. I told you, this could definitely be a separation. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Or this could be you and your person both have strong air in your chart. And you both could be setting boundaries because you're seeing something. Your intuition is guiding you to do something and pay attention to something. Could be ending cycles. The world here. Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius. 
nine of wands with the seven of wands yeah you guys are being divinely protected because you're close to success on something this could also be you blocking someone it could be on the web someone could be trying to watch you on platforms if you do something world renowned worldwide but you're close to victory you're close to success you could feel like you're going through a lot of challenges and obstacles but do not give up because you're very close to success somebody knows that you're close to success and that you're protecting your energy from them. This is why you have your boundaries set up. This is why you're going to do something that you love to do. It could be you're, you're being guided by your intuition to do this. Some of you could be relocating, moving, traveling. Someone could be trying to travel in secret or move or relocate secretly. They're keeping this close to their heart and they're keeping quiet when it comes to this because they have to protect their energy from something. Somebody could be going towards new love. Wow. Yeah, somebody wants to release the past to come towards someone new. The Emperor, Page of Wands. Someone's getting good news. That's going to put them in a position of power. That's going to help them take action and take the lead. Someone is a leader. Aries energy. Page of Cups. This person could want to come and apologize to you. Or there's something strong about kids here. Page of Cups and Page of Wands. Somebody could be getting good news when it comes to children. This could be um, a court decision for custody or child support or, I don't know, any of these things. Somebody could be wanting to gift you something and you don't see this coming. What's summertime? What's summertime with balance is the key to a happier lifestyle? Yeah, walking away. I told you, somebody could have walked away from someone in the summertime to balance their life out. Or you could have had to walk away from someone. What's the Eight of Cups? What's the Eight of Cups? The Tower. Someone was shocked when you did this or someone had a Tower moment when you walked away from them. Aries Scorpio energy. This could also be a Tower headed towards someone. What's the Tower? What's the Tower? Yeah, I told you somebody was shocked when you did this. Five of Cups. They were sad. They were in loss, grief, sorrow. Someone's in their feelings. What's the Tower with the Five of Cups? Page of Cups. Yeah, now they want to come and apologize to you. Now someone wants to reconcile a situation. They want to apologize. They could want to gift you something. This could be a child. Or you could be wanting to gift a child. Someone could be lying about something. The Chariot. Someone could be lying about moving on from someone. The Chariot. Cancer Energy. King of Pentacles. Taurus Virgo Capricorn. So this could be a... A leader, a CEO, a boss, an entrepreneur. Or somebody could be lying about their investments or lying about their money or lying about like someone here could be a fake flexor and they're headed towards you. If it's not that, someone's trying to come and trick and manipulate someone. This person could be at a distance. They could be traveling towards somebody here. Or somebody could be taking someone to court. Someone could be lying in court. What? <laughs> to try to take someone off their stability. Try to take someone for all they got. If it's not that. Somebody's. Oh my goodness. Somebody could need to publicly apologize to someone. I'm hearing an open court. I, what's the chariot with the seven of swords? Yeah, and they're stuck in their head about this. Or somebody's stuck in their head that someone moved on, that someone left and moved on. Someone here could be getting a new vehicle or someone here could work for transportation. Five of Swords is inner and outer conflict with someone. Competition. Someone could be moving away from competition or you moved away from this person because they tried to put you in competition with someone and you were like, yeah, no. You saw the truth and clarity about someone trying to throw illusions at you, deceive you. You have brand new opportunities coming your way. You got the Seven of Cups with the Ace of Swords. The strength. You had the strength and the courage to push forward. Or somebody's going to have to give you the truth and clarity about something. When it comes to whatever they were trying to throw at you, these this illusion magic. 
it could be wearing off got the king of wands the moon there could be a queen of wands aries leo sag the moon cancer pisces that somebody here could have been doing moon magic or paying someone to do moon magic and then they would sit back isolate themselves and watch to see if it was working but you're getting justice Libra energy, Virgo energy, you're getting justice. You're getting your karmic justice. Why? Because you are this empress. Uh, somebody could be finding out about a pregnancy. You're about to get justice. You could be looking into something. Somebody could be doing introspection, shadow work to balance their life out. And it's going to work. It's going to be great. Okay. Anyways enough of that that's crazy okay what else does my cancer pisces scorpio need to know at this time what do they need to know at this time what is this creativity mantra yeah somebody is trying to steal your ideas they want to copy your work they want to be just like you somebody could be taking some wine to like corporate y'all oh shit this could have been someone that you were trying to collaborate with or they wanted to collaborate with you. Please protect yourself. Please protect yourself. Sexual protection. Someone here could have a... Y'all know what that is. Y'all know. Protect yourself. Sexual protection. Protect yourself. Sexual protection. Y'all should know. Some of you could be seeing 3113. 313. Um, yeah. So... Keep yourself safe at this time. Mm. What else? Karmic friends. Someone could be in secret competition with you. This could be this creativity muncher. Someone could be sleeping with somebody's friends. And now they're going to find out that they're pregnant. They're going to come back towards someone else and be like, I'm pregnant. But you're like, I wrapped it up. So who you who you pregnant by? If it's not that, be careful. Somebody could, that's why I feel like Spirit's telling you to protect yourself too because somebody could be trying to purposely get pregnant or trying to get you pregnant. If it's not that, somebody could, you know, have something, period. What's karmic friends? Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, same shit, different day. Did I not say that earlier? Same shit, different day. When I said this person, this they raise your blood pressure because they're on the same shit, different day. So you, you know. This person's outdated. They're old news that you discarded this because they keep making bad choices. They keep getting stuck in a nightmare and you're defending yourself. This person could be haunted because they were promiscuous. Or they're haunted because they know their pr promiscuous ways is about to be put out there. Someone's all up in your business looking you up. Or they could be trying to say this about you that you're promiscuous. They're trying to look into you. They're trying to get information on you what else over here what else caution there's a bit okay there's a big caution here spirit is trying to definitely warn someone about something whether this is a pregnancy whether this is someone needing to sexually protect themselves this could also be if it's not an std this could be someone has something dark attached to them and they're trying to put it on you to fuck up your creativity they're trying to get it to latch on to you so you won't be able to work. So you won't be able to put your creativity out there. Wow. That's crazy. Look, and pregnancy test came out. You could be hearing something about a karmic friend being pregnant. Someone feels like you're acting cold towards them. Mm. Or someone could be acting cold towards a, a, a pregnant woman. Hmm. Anything else? A hater. This person's a hater. Fake friends again. Y'all pay attention to the friends that are around you, please. Please be careful. Please be careful. Somebody could have slept with a friend and got pregnant. I don't fucking know. Just be careful. What's the family time? This person hates your, your family or that you built a family with someone or that you're blending or building a foundation with someone. This could be a fake ass friend or just a hater. They don't want to see you happy. Envy. Yeah, I told you this person's envious of your life, your foundation, your family. Your, 
Or this person could be in your family and they're envious of you. What? Over it. Tired of drama. Yeah, you're tired of the drama. You don't got time for this. You, you could be getting headaches because someone's on the same shit, different time. Fulfilling a fantasy private relationship. I told y'all. Somebody could be fucking somebody on the side. Or they're trying to keep something quiet and private. But it's about to get... <laughs> Somebody could be sleeping with a stripper, an escort, a prostitute. Somebody could be catching something from someone and because they were keeping shit private. Or somebody was just having a situation with someone and... Mm -hmm. What's private relationship with fulfilling a fantasy? Movie date. Now they want to date you after they try to keep you quiet or on the low? Well, this person's putting on a show... They could act like they want to date you, but the only thing they want is some fucking. They only want to fuck on you. This person could be dating someone else, or they could be dating multiple people. This person could be an actor or an actress. Wow. Yeah, look. Somebody could be getting busted at the movies, taking someone else on a date, and their person's going to pop up and be like, the fuck you doing? I don't know why I'm getting that yet, parenting. Oh, my gosh. What? Um, If not, someone could be putting on a show like they, they're happy in the relationship they're in, but yet they got something on the side that really fulfills them, that really is where they really want to be, is where they desire to be. But they're putting on a show like they're really happy in this family dynamic, but they're not. Yeah, extra trigger. Somebody's extra triggered that you're acting cold towards them. Depression. Yeah, they're going through depression. Or somebody's trying to act like they're happy. They're trying to act like their life is great and everything. But secretly, they're depressed. Because you're into someone else now. Because you moved on. Because you have something good coming towards you. You got something that's good chemistry. Great vibes. You and your person are very into each other and someone's depressed about this. Someone is like not happy. This could also be someone's depressed because they're leaving a family dynamic behind. They're tired of it. They don't want to deal with it no more. And they want to come towards you. They want to ask you out on a day. They want to fulfill fantasies with you. Somebody could be finding out that their side chick is pregnant or somebody that was in a marriage or a long-term investment commitment with someone a partnership they could be finding out that they're pregnant but it's not by their person it's by the side person what the fuck is going on y'all or somebody could be in a new relationship with someone but they're still tripping over their baby daddy or baby mama they're still into them wait i am like done Anything else? Yeah, cloud hungry. This person's cloud hungry, extra triggered. They make up shit. They're dramatic as hell. They're always like screaming or yelling. This person acts cold. Okay, I'm also getting this person acts cold sometimes towards their person. They're always quick to like rah rah with their person. But then when they get around other people, they're like ha 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 he he he. They're fucking having the time of their life and they're happy. They're a fucking great actor. They put on a show. Somebody could be running away from having sex with someone. Because they're only focusing on their crush. Or they're crushing on you and they're watching you. They're waiting. I'm once again waiting, waiting, waiting. You guys. I don't know. I don't know. I. Wow. Oh, wow. <sighs> okay. Let's see. Somebody could be trying to distract you. I hear my son in the background. I don't know what he's playing. Probably Roblox or something. But he's like loud. Somebody's trying to come in as a distraction. Please stay on course. Please stay focused. Tunnel vision. Do not let the distractions interrupt you from what you're trying to do. Yeah, look. Laughter and lust. You guys. Someone's lusting after you. Someone could need to like. I don't know. Someone needs to let it out. This is going to bring some type of healing. Or you have healing sex. I'm not trying to be funny. You have healing sex. You make someone happy. You you bring someone joy. You like heal them when you. Wow. 
Wow, okay, well, <laughs> divine feminine, divine masculine, okay, Cancer Scorpio Pisces, so puzzled, yeah, someone's confused, because you're tired of it, you're tired of their drama, or they're conflicted, because you're protecting yourself, Archangel Michael, you are being protected at this time, you are being protected, divine intervention, what's Archangel Michael? Wishful thinking in the reverse. Yeah, someone lost their second chance. It could be a dis uh, distorted masculine. Masculine energy in the reverse. So this is a distorted masculine. This could have been a father figure or someone that you were co-parenting with. They don't have no more second chances. You're not thinking about this person no more. You don't even look at them like that no more. But they, they study looking at you. Give me one second, please. One second. you guys i had to tell my son to go chill out chillax so sorry about that you guys but yes what else so chained codependency unhealthy attachment yes yeah, somebody is like um, devil energy somebody wants to weigh you down somebody wants to keep you stuck somebody is codependent on your energy Somebody has like, uh, or somebody has an unhealthy attachment. Like I was saying, if it's not an STD or something, this could be a sexually transmitted demon. Like somebody is possessed by something and it's, it's like a sex demon. Yeah. What's chained? Or they want to keep you stuck on them. They want to keep you chained. They don't want to see you move on to someone else. Salty, yeah, bitter, angry, petty. Somebody is salty as fuck. You could need to use um salt. I don't know why I'm hearing this salt around your bed when you sleep. If not, some of you can need to take a spiritual bath and use um sea salt or pink Himalayan salt. Any of these things cleanse your energy, please. Sorry, someone here could have a sex addiction or they have a, a severe addiction to sex, drugs, alcohol. They're party animals, surface pleasures. This person's always turned. But they're suffering in silence. Reading up. Envy. I'm telling you. Recharge. Didn't I tell you y'all need to recharge? This could be you needing to recharge with your boo. Maybe you guys are going on a road trip. Maybe you guys. Yep. Thank you. Look. Vacay. Long haul. My boo. Recharge. You're going into a long-term investment with someone. You're in a, an exclusive relationship. Yeah. You're invested in something. Or you're going to be. You're going to be vacationing with this person. This person, you're going to be able to recharge your energy with this person. You're going to be able to let go of the past and clear your mind and breathe. Because you're going to be so comfortable and solid within this foundation. This this love, this stability. This could be leading towards marriage. This is like in it to win it. Both of y'all are going to give an equal give and take. That's beautiful. Yeah. <sighs> anything else smell the roses slow down take some you time get out in nature yeah some of you really need to get out in nature so you can either smell the roses somebody could be gifting you some roses but it's time to slow down yeah now somebody like i told y'all earlier somebody wants to come in and apologize because they're about to face the consequences of something that they did. They made a bad choice. They were sending you mixed signals. Somebody was playing games. And now they're seeing that they're about to face some type of fucking consequences. Or this person is going to come in with a fake ass apology to try to get you to come back to them. Be careful. Waves chaos. There could be some type of like, I don't know if this is another hurricane. I, I saw water in a tornado immediately and I thought of what happened in Florida recently. There could be a, something happening with weather, some type of natural disaster, just saying. It doesn't have to be. Or somebody is like going through a spiral when it comes to their emotions. Somebody's worrying and fear 
that there's no way to come back from this. This could be a soulmate energy of yours. So this could have been a, a romantic partner. A soulmate could be anything. Friends, families, co-workers, a lover. Someone that you, you know, you had a situation with, but it was never lifted off the ground. It could be multiple things. But um, yeah, some of you could be visiting a beach soon. Or like I said, there could be some type of natural disaster when it comes to weather. So please be careful. In the dirty money lust. Okay, I'm going to say this one time and then I'm going to move to other messages and then I'm going to end the reading. We have lust and dirty money. Either this one or two things. Either somebody is going to be put on blast. Let me make sure. I... Okay, one of three things. I'm going to say three things. Yeah. One of three things. Okay. Either you were in a relationship with someone and you were providing some type of stability, some type of foundation for them one, and they were clinging on to you by giving you good sex or something like that, or y'all had some, you know, bomb.com hookups, whatever. But they were always love bombing you. Like they were going to make changes. Like they were going to level up. Like they were going to do something. So they're clinging on to your energy. But it's like, what else are they bringing to the table? Somebody could be trying to steal your money and all they're doing is fucking on you and they're not really giving you nothing but sex and you're over here providing a full life for this person. If it's not that, someone could be... Um, first thing I got was lust and dirty money. Someone could be getting outed for being an escort, a prostitute. Somebody could be making money, you know, on the side doing some shit they're not supposed to be doing and someone could be getting caught in this or someone could be love bombing someone to come back sexually just so they can like cling on to them for finances. If it's not any of those things, then someone could be clinging on to your energy sexually and they could love bomb you and act like they really want to build something with you or they want to have something real and committed with you whole time they're fucking playing you they could have a third party they could be going back to other situations this person could be a playboy play girl whole time they're only fucking on you because you have healing sex because when they when they have intimate relationships with you they're able to make more money they're able to steal your inheritance steal your energy and they're they're able to profit off of your energy there's something very abundant very strong about your energy that when they have sex with you they're able to manifest quicker they're able to make more money they're able to get promotions this person's able to elevate their life by your energy so please be careful with that i'm going to say that very important to say okay y'all need to know that now let me get some ending messages and yeah that's crazy. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. And I didn't even want to make the reading this long. I'm sorry, you guys. I just can't help myself. Once I get on here, I'm just going all in. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Give me some soul messages from my Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces so I can end this reading. Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces, please. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, water signs. What do you need to hear at this time? So perspective is a matter of where you stand. So maybe some of you need to shift your perspective to be able to move more freely. Some of you could be seeing eagles. It's time to soar. What else? So we have, why be unhappy when your soul is in full bloom? Health, spiritual growth, choosing happiness. So you could be spiritually growing right now or somebody needs to take a look into their health, pay more attention to their health, make more wise decisions when it comes to your health. Okay, what else? Oh, okay, 
So it says your shadows are just hiding the light right now. And that came in the reverse. It fell on the floor, but I see it right here. So maybe some of you have recently didn't sh have done shadow work and it's pushing you to a new position in life, a new chapter, a higher elevation in life. It's time to shine your light. It's time to shine your light. What else? Anything else? Let's go. Your success is closer than you imagine. Just keep going. Amen to that. Uh, wait. I confirm, I affirm, and I claim that energy. Yes, you guys, your success is closer than you can imagine. So keep going. That's amazing. It says, be the brave and authentic soul you were always destined to be. So there's something, like I said, about your authenticity, your creativity. Some of you could be dealing with the Gemini. It doesn't have to be. Or you have Gemini highly aspected in your chart. I get that because I see two um, ballerinas here. So I think of duality. So if not, some, some of you could be going into a competitive field. But your authenticity, your individuality... Your spark, your shine, you're going to be able to bring something new or something amazing to the table that people are going to reward you, recognize you. They're going to give you your applause. You're going to get your, your flowers. You're going to be able to shine. To rise, you must let go of fear. It's time to let go of fear. Yes, yeah, stop playing small. The, you are the universe in the static motion, courage, moving forward, making progress, taking action. You have to take action. The only way you're going to get the success is taking action. Someone here could like space or time travel. I don't know why I heard that. Or someone here could want to become an astronaut. Doesn't have to be. Someone could like to look at the stars. Someone could need to go stargazing. That's going to help, help with third eye activation. What else? So when you start the path appears, so take a step in any direction. It's time to take a leap of faith. Baby steps is still progression. Even if you start slow, even if you start small, it's all about actually putting your first foot forward and keep moving. So look for the signs that will guide you to the to the destiny you have known all along. So you could be getting signs and synchronicities when it comes to where you're supposed to be going or what you're supposed to be doing. So set your life on fire and seek those who fan your flames. Kindred spirits, passion, follow your heart. It's time to follow your heart. So you know where you're supposed to be. Some of you could be dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or you have this predominantly in your chart. Anything you lose comes around in another form. Opportunity, choices, transformation. Yeah, look. So any of you that have lost something or someone, it's time for a transformation. It's, been, it's happening for you, not to you. Take it as a lesson learned. Take it as a way to grow. Take it as a new opportunity is headed your way. Do not get stuck in doom and gloom and look for something to help you move forward. Answers appear when you release the question. It's time to release and surrender worry, fear, anxiety, stress. Just take a leap of faith. Maybe you're questioning your, your, your talent or if you have enough. It doesn't matter. Just try. Take a leap of faith. That's the only way you're going to get results. So storms may bring passion but not peace. So I don't know if there's going to be some type of like tower or upheaval or this could be warning somebody about a storm that's actually coming. It doesn't have to be. But be careful that you don't get stuck in passion or if some of you could need to use your passion or your your sexual moods and transmute that energy into your creativity, into your projects, into your business. That's going to help you manifest. Look inside yourself. All you want, you already are. Abundance, resources, your wishes granted. Yeah, look, you have a gift. You have a divine gift coming in, a divine blessing that's coming your way. As long as you put the effort towards something, you have resources coming in, you have everything you need to get something started. 
there's something about you're going to have an energy boost. Your your tank is going to be on full when it comes to something. Your wish is going to be granted. So, yeah. That's amazing. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. I love it for y'all. I love it. So. Yep. Let me get a few of these and then I'm done. Get some clarity. Cancer Scorpio Pisces. What do they need to know at this time? Please give me some clarity for a Cancer Scorpio Pisces. Cancer Scorpio Pisces. Somebody could be trying to put you in a volatile situation. Please be careful. Somebody here could be a Scorpio Sag Cusp. This could be you or somebody you're dealing with. So yeah, we have volatile situation. Mm. There could be something happening on a school bus. It says school bus chaos. Please be careful with your kids. Uh, we have... Did I not tell y'all? I told y'all. I told you. Please be careful. Prostitute escort. Somebody could be... <laughs> Anyways. So we have fake social media accounts to gain information on you. Time today by Moneybag, yo. So you got time today to curse somebody the fuck out. <laughs> if it's not that, you guys... There could be somebody trying to put you in a volatile situation. Somebody could be making fake social media accounts and try to make you look like a prostitute or an escort. Trying to use your pictures or something to make you look like this. And you got time today. You got time today to go off on the motherfucker. I don't know. Any of these things. So nobody else but you. So no, somebody doesn't want nobody else but you. Or this could be a, a sign of synchronicity that somebody wants to reach out to you. Um, coming out of hermit mode to contact you. Oh, so you could be dealing with a Virgo or you have Virgo in your chart. Somebody wants to come talk to you. Paying people to spy on you, still not getting information, divine intervention. Look at that. Somebody's paying people to watch you and it's still not working. Twin flame is going crazy over you. Then we have birds of a feather flock together. So this has something to do with this school bus chaos. Maybe there's going to be like a, a group of fucking ridiculous kids acting wild and crazy and they're about to start something on a school bus i don't know or this could be a i don't know the harder i run the more i fall in love with you well 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 what else <laughs> okay so wrong decision was made somebody made the wrong decision when it came to their twin flame and it says you are my sunshine so, okay. Um, your world is about to change quickly. Turn over a new page in life now. So once you turn over a new page in life, your world is about to change quickly. So something is about to like grow for you or because somebody made a wrong decision, now their world is about to change quickly. Okay. What else? Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Social media influencer. So a social media influencer got time today. Yes. <laughs> so somebody's guilty because they made a wrong decision. They feel guilty. I am not over what we share. So somebody's not over what you and that person share. Oh, they feel some type of way you are. Somebody could have a truck, okay? Somebody's birthday could be in February. If not, so you could be dealing with Aquarius. If it's not that, then you could have dealt with someone in February. Somebody's coming back around in February. I don't know. I need a girl by Trey Song. Oh, somebody needs a girl. Somebody wants you to be that girl or guy. So we have wheelchair. What? So somebody somebody wanted to see someone in a wheelchair. Somebody could be going in a wheelchair for some I don't know. So we have Peru. Somebody could be getting a life sentence. Oh god. Jail or spiritual lockdown. Damn. What? So it says I love you. Angel number 1010. Yeah, something's about to be over. Something is done, and it was divinely guided to be done. 
telepathic communication. Somebody is communicating with you telepathically. It could be through music. It could be through dreams. It could be any of anything competitive. So somebody here could want to compete with you or want to put you in competition. If it's not that, then you are in a competitive field, but you're still going to shine bright. <laughs> You're in for a sweet surprise, baby. When it comes to your success, your money, your health, your wealth, your abundance, your inheritance, you are in for a sweet surprise. So they're watching every move you, meet, you make. They feel you belong together. So hypnotic. Someone could be trying to do hypnosis. I believe that's what it's called. Or they feel like your love is hypnotic. You got someone hooked. And then we have reality television. So something could be happening with a reality, reality television star. <sighs> or somebody here could be going on reality TV. And then we have secret stash. Okay. Well, shit. Well, somebody's trying to cause chaos. My car said all over the place. So from what I see, it says your psychic ability scares the shit out of them. So your psychic abilities or your gifts or your talents or your creativity or the fact that you know a lot without people telling you a lot scares someone. This time to focus on balancing your life. This could be you or your person. Something about the Bahamas. Somebody could be traveling, visiting, relocating or be from the Bahamas. Have you moved on from me? Someone fears tapping into their gifts and strengths. Mm. It's time for you to prove someone wrong, prove the whole world wrong. Whatever somebody was judging you or laughing at you or making jokes about you, guess what? You about to shine. You are heaven sent. Okay, baby. Carmen got a tarot reading on divine feminine, divine masculine to cause drama. Did I not tell y'all? Somebody trying to cause some fucking chaos. And then on the floor, what I can see, I see vivid dreams, basketball games. I see water signs are here, are involved. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. So this is either you or you're dealing with another water sign. Either way. I see basketball game. I see Scorpio moon. I see sentence to one to three years. Unacceptable behaviors. And a Pisces moon. So that's what I see that have fell on the floor. But it flipped over so I can see those. So yeah. So water signs, my beautiful water signs, this is what I have for you all. Hope you enjoyed the reading. Please take a moment to comment below if it resonates. Give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. Push the notification bell so you can get notified whenever I post my readings. Much love and light to all of you. I hope you have an amazing morning, afternoon, or night, no matter where you may be when you receive this message. Talk to you all soon. Bye.